Welcome to Break Into Tech Show with Professor Temi Akinwumi of My IT University, a multi award winning tech CEO, career coach, and mentor. With decades of hands on tech career, will ensure your career dreams come true. Join our extraordinary show today on groundbreaking topic for a successful career. Do you want a $100,000 job as a cybersecurity professional, scrum master, business analyst software QA, cloud architect, data analyst, technical recruiter, and more? Visit www.myituniversity.com to schedule a call. Come and get inspired to secure a lucrative job. Keep the job and grow on the job. Relax, receive, and see results. We're glad you're here. Share, like, and comment. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here today. I'm super excited you are able to join us. Uh, my name is Professor Tammy, like you all know, and um, I'm going to be your host. We always meet here every uh, Wednesday morning. By 11 a.m. Eastern Time, we help you to break into tech, keep the job, and grow on the job. I need to know where you're joining me from. I want to meet you and, um, you know, see how I can help you break into tech. A quick one about me. I've been in tech for three decades, and um, I'm a multi work with the tech CEO of um, Top Group Technologies, we're an IT company and also of my IT university. I'm the founder and I've mentored thousands of engineers into tech. I always love to give back and to empower the community. I'm glad you are able to join us to, today. So I need to know where you're joining me from and I want to welcome you properly. And also, also we encourage you to share, share, share with others. Let people know that we're here live and direct and we're here to give back and to empower the community. If you're trying to break into tech at all, this is the right platform for you. Because what we do here, we don't only train you and mentor you, we coach you, we help you to secure the tech job and also grow on it. And that's very important. And that's what we do here. I see a lot of you joining me from all over the world. I need to know where you're joining me from. Um, I see, um, so let's say hi, let's say hi, let's um, welcome you properly. So let me see where you're joining me from. Thank you very much. And um, yes. Oh, okay. So Michael, because Michael said, I, 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 Timmy, I sent you a message, but you have not replied. What, where did you send me a message? I did see your message. If I see your message, I will reply to it. So if you send me a message and I didn't reply, send me a message again. You know, sometimes my message can get, I don't know where it is. It might be in LinkedIn. So you, when you don't say, don't just say hi to me. If you want to send me a message, send a proper message. If you just say hi, some people text me and say, hi. I'll say hi back. Hi does is not a message. If you want to send me a message, send me a message and say, I need to so, so, and so. And if you really, really want to reach me, just schedule a call with me and I will speak with you. But don't just text me hi. I don't know what you mean by hi. Hi is hi back. So that's it, right? So if you want to reach out to me, send a proper message and I will get back to you. Okay, I've been Bola from uh, yes, ND. Thank you for being here. Thank you, I've been Bola for being here. And um, yeah, Makisha from Countstream, Maryland. I hope you're doing very well today. Thank you for joining. God's property. That's Cynthia from New Jersey. Thank you, Cynthia. We have Felicia M from Iceby, Maryland. Welcome, Felicia. We have Israel. Israel. Hello, Yemi. How you doing? Uh, thanks you for being here from Massachusetts. So, hi, Professor Tammy. We have Michelle from Glen Burnie, Maryland. Hi, Prof. Hi, Michelle. I'm so glad you are able to join us. If you want me to give a shout out, you know, welcome you, you know, let me know where you're joining me from and I'll be able to welcome you properly. Also, have Ibukun from Laurel, Maryland. Hi, Ibukun. Welcome. I hope you are doing well today. I have France, Franca joining us from Lagos, Nigeria. Oh my Lord. Lagos in the building. Welcome. Welcome, Franca, all the way from Lagos. We have Ali. Ali joining me from Ivory Coast. Oh, 
and I live in New York. Welcome. I'm so honored and glad that we are people all over the world joining us, you know, today. Pamela from New York. Hello, Pamela. Those are our engineers into cybersecurity, into Scrum, joining us from everywhere. I'm so glad that you are all able to be here today. It's going to be a lovely discussion and we're going to have fun. I see Ellen from Troy, Ellen of Troy. Hi, Ellen. How are you doing? I hope you all are doing well and I hope you all are enjoying your jobs. The major goal here with my University is to make sure you can get the job secure the job and grow on the job so that's why we have a lifetime support and mentoring here and it is an honor that we are able to do this we don't you don't really see this kind of things out here um but we are able to do that i'm so glad that we're able to do that so if you have not been following me um you can follow me on youtube it's um www.youtube.com slash at mighty university make sure you subscribe and follow so that you can see a lot of these things videos also can we also going to be on youtube so always follow and you'll be, you'll be able to be highly prepared ready to roll as we as you break into your tech career okay so thank you we're gonna get started shortly okay okay i uh, see uh mark here uh from silver spring hello hi deb d and Lago, Maryland, I text you yesterday, hope to hear from you, or I'll just text you again. Very good, do that. You can text me. And when you text me, let me know where you text me from. You all have my numbers, so, you know, you can text me. You can, you know, you can send things to me too, in two ways, and I'll always get back to you. And we also have uh, Federica from uh, New, New York. Thank you very much for being here. I'm so honored that you're all joining us and you are here. So text me. You can text me on WhatsApp. You can text me on regular text. That's fine. I will respond back to you. You can schedule a call with me. I will call you back. So my schedule is, is full, but I'll always make sure I get to everybody. Same day. Same day, get to you. But I may not even see your... If I don't see your message, if you don't see it from me, that's probably that I don't see your message. Even on, yesterday night till around 9.30, 10 I'm, people are still people were calling me and i was still talking to them even though late night you're not supposed to at least rest but i'm still talking to people at that time so if you reach out to me i will, I will talk to you so make sure you reach out properly don't just say hi and then i will i will reach out i will pick your call you know so thank you so much everybody so today the plan today is to go over cyber security interview how do you interview in cyber security like a professional how do you interview in cyber security like a professional? It's very important. Many people, they don't even know how to interview. They are not, interviewing is a skill. When not do well in cyber security, you may have a good interviewing skill. And that's one of the major goal here is to make sure that you are equipped with the right skill to interview. And if you look on our YouTube channel, you'll notice that we have so much on YouTube. Nobody does that. Nobody put all this information out there. It's a lot. And I'm putting out there intentionally. And the intention behind that is that you should enroll in the training in, the, in our training program, get the job, okay? Then you will use this thing to prep for interview. Don't go and prep for interview, get a job, and don't know what to do at the job. I have a guy last week, upper week. He got a job, like mind blowing job using all this thing to prep, but doesn't know what to do with the job. So I put him in class now. So don't do it backwards. Do it the right way, okay? We also have um, Richard from Edo, Nigeria. Thank you so much, Richard, for joining us. We are glad that you are able to make it. So it's highly important, you know? And I also want to let you know, I've been in tech for three decades. Mm -hmm. I have my associate in computer science my bachelor's in computer science, master's in software engineering, master's in cyber security, I have dual master's. And right now I'm working on my PhD. What am I saying? What am I saying that is, most of the time, some of you have done some courses before, maybe Linux, maybe AWS and all of that. And you now believe, oh, maybe I wasted my money. I can't get a job with it. I'll tell you what, you've not wasted your money. Okay, because 
you are investing in yourself. When you're going to be at the job and using those, those things you've learned in, in those courses, nobody will be there to enjoy it with you. You will enjoy it. So everything, every, there's no amount of money you spend on yourself for your career. There's a waste. It's not a waste. So you meant to say, we that we've been having all those degrees and certifications that are so many, you can check my profile. Are we, have I wasted my time and money? No, you have not. You are investing in yourself. If you are in college, you pay, you pay with everything. <laughs> you even have student loan. Well, how much are you paying for courses? You can't complain that you're, oh, I've done this course before somewhere. I've done that course before that place and I've wasted money. I can't get a job. I was, I was like, excuse me. You have not wasted money. You have invested in yourself. Even though you may not have a job yet because you, you know, but you will have a job. Once you are on our platform, we're going to mentor you, coach you, train you to get a job and go on it because we have a community program. Our program, once you are here, you are family and we continue to nurture you, nurture you into your career. It's a non-stop. And when you become very comfortable, you start coming back to nurture the other people. It's not about the, the coaching, the job alone. Now. It's about mentoring and networking. And that's what, that's my approach in, on this platform. That's what I'm doing with, we're doing with it. Mentoring, networking, growing together, making people become tech giants in different region in the world. We have students in UK, we have students in uh, a lot of areas in Europe, Ireland, we have students in Dubai, we have students in Belgium, in Germany, mention it, Spain, Italy, Canada, everywhere. The major goal is to make them tech giants. That's why when they finish their training, we start doing interview preps, interview preps, interview preps, interview preps, nonstop, every week. They don't pay for that. We start doing mentoring, 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 nonstop. They don't pay for that. You can't pay for that. How much are you going to pay to be able to pay for all these things? You can't. So once you pay to register and do a co the course, then you can be into all those things so that you can become a tech giant. That's the goal. It's more than training. You guys, I want you to know that. And in tech, it's more than training. So you need to be in a community. Huh? You need to be in a community that will nurture you, that will have your back, that will guide you into jobs. Whenever you move from one job to another, that will be able to help you. We don't understand something, that will be able to help you. Don't be an, don't be an island. Don't isolate yourself. In tech, you need to be in that community. And that's what we have here. You need to be in the community. So reach out. Don't be out there, oh, I'm a family, I've been following you for three years. You need a community. Reach out, register for a class, take some classes, be in the community, whatever you will do to get in is very important. We have brother group, brothers groups, sisters group, we have Bologna's clubs, we have so many things here. Okay, so that we can help you with your career as you go. I see Doreen as well. Welcome, Doreen. Say hi, Prof. Hi, how you doing? And uh, I see Afiz and Doreen from Owensville, Maryland. If you see all these all these wonderful ladies and gentlemen that are breaking down to tech now, they are they are giants in their own right. Some of them are established professionals, but they decide to change it, break into tech because tech is it. A lot of them are some of our women people that are doctors, pharmacists. Um, you know, lawyers, attorneys, different, very doing very well in their different industry, but they want to add tech. They want to add tech to what they have. So you see them all here. Thank you, Doreen. Yeah, blessing to us. Thank you so much. And she's one of them. They have their own. I mean, if you see these people, they are great people, but they are here to for tech because they want to add tech to their pipeline. So it's very important. Don't play and don't. Guys, it's for real. So if you want to reach out to me, schedule a call. You are trying to break into tech, schedule a call. This is the link. Uh, this is the my website. You can schedule a call. And you can also just text me. Text me and I will reach out to you. And as you prep for interviews, 
Everybody must get a trial box. There's the link for trial box. Trial box is going to really help you to ace your interviews. I can't tell you that enough. Um, I think it's still on sale for three ninety nine dollars on our website. Uh, it was on sale for Mother's Day. But I'm going to take it out after today. You would have been getting the trial box already. Make sure you get your copy so that um, you will be able to prep. It's automated. It's going to prep you and guide you to do well. Hi, right, it's Ben. I hope you're doing good. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. So I really appreciate it. So that's very important. So let's get started discussing that today. How do you pray for interview like a pro? What do you do? How do you pray for interview like a pro? So that's what we're doing today. Okay, don't forget this is my information if you want to reach out. So that's what we're doing today. Interview like a professional, live prep. When you finish your training program, they will, the next thing to do is to start interviewing. Is to start interviewing. And you get to meet a lot of interviewers, hiring managers and stuff. So it's always important to start prepping yourself. And I'll tell you something. You will never be ready. Don't tell me oh, I'm not ready. Yes, you are not ready. And you will never be ready. Whatever you have is what you will use. You start from wherever you have and go from there. So that's what it is. And that's why I'm bringing these things to you. Go over the YouTube channel and go over it over and over and over and over again. Very, very important. Okay? So, when you, if you get your trailer box, right, everything that you see me bringing here, I'm picking from the trailer box. Trailer box has a whole lot of stuff. It has a whole lot of stuff. It has, you know, salary negotiation, how to prep your resume, how to prep your LinkedIn, optimizing it. What are the step-by-step -step to his an interview? It's like an interview preparation in a box, in one place. That's, that's why I call it trial box. We have one for cybersecurity. We have one for Scrum and product owner. Okay? So, for the cybersecurity, when you notice that we have so much in there. We also have technical interview. We have this general interview questions and answers automated. All you have to do just sit down and let the let the this video. So you just sit down and watch the videos and see how, how to do it. Just read it to you. It's, it's, it's actually AI enhanced too. Right? And then you have scenario-based questions. You have um tools questions about certain tools. So what scenario will you use these tools? This vulnerability management tools. We have them. We have different frameworks and their questions. So do not, I know some of you have them, like uh, like some of you have them, so make sure. Now, uh, like Doreen, you have them, you know, and some other people here, Bilaja, and all of them. So I'm sure you do. I love it. And um, if anybody else wants them, go grab it. It's on, it's on sale, $100 off now. So make sure you grab your copy. I have Abimbala from London. Thank you, Abimbala, for being here. I'm so happy that you're able to join us today. And uh, we have Arby. Hope all is well. Yes, all is well, Arby. Thank you for being here as well. I really appreciate you guys. So share, share, share on your platform so that people are struggling. They're trying to break into tech, but they don't know what to do. So you are the only one that can help them. If You, you never know it's going to just be working all over LinkedIn or YouTube streets doesn't know what to do and frustrated they might just see this their spirits will thank you even though they may not see you physically but they will say wow so so and so pasted this and i saw it i don't know her but i'm thankful for her i know she'll be thanking you in her spirit even though you don't see her that person will be grateful so you are doing something not for yourself alone for humanity so that's what that's what i'm doing too okay not only for myself but for others i can make all my money sitting down doing government contract and putting people on the job and don't come online to help anybody, you know, but it's more than that. Okay. If I work two, three jobs, I'm going to make crazy money. I'm fine. But people also can break in. People also are struggling. So that's why you see what I'm doing. 
So you have to understand from that point of view. Very important. So you also, in your little way, whatever you can do, share and bless other people's life. And the blessing come back to you. Very important. Yes. So, okay. So when you, once you finish the classes and we have your resume done, you put everything out. You put your resume on, on LinkedIn, on Indeed, and all the sites that will tell you what to put them. You prep your interview, you do your all your program, and you put it out. Once you put it out, then recruiter will start reaching out to you. Once recruiters are reaching out to you, they start asking you questions, right? They start asking you questions. Oh, are you looking for a job change? And all of that. You say, yes, I'm looking for a job change. How much are you looking to make? They will ask you. And you ask them, what's the salary range? They'll tell you, and you pick the high range. I will sell my student. And once you pick the high range, then they will submit you. Uh, you pick the highest of the range. I mean, who doesn't want to make money? And then they will submit you, right? Once they submit you, they will reach back to you for the time. They give you give them some some slots, and then you go from there. So now, once they submit you for that interview, the interviewer you have to check out, check them out on their LinkedIn accounts. You check out the company out on the LinkedIn on their website to know about the company that you are going to be interviewing with. So that you are prep and you prep ahead looking at the job description. You look through the job description and prep with it. Okay? And once you prep with it, then you can actually now be ready. You prep with it and you they will now call you on the interview day or schedule or Zoom interview. It's okay? So if you don't need to know how to get to do with Zoom interview, how to prep and all of that, you can also look at our YouTube. We have so much. We have over 100 plus videos on YouTube. That will help you with different framework, different information, and also buy the trial box. It has so much information on there. I'm going to place the trial box one more time. Today is the last day for the sale. $100 off. So the first thing you're going to hear is tell me about yourself. Tell me about yourself. They're asking you because they want to know about you, not about your personal life. So don't tell me I have three kids, I have a dog and a cat. No. About your professional life in relation to the role that you are seeking for. And I've given you some examples. You must make these answers quick, sweet, straight to the point, no more than two minutes. That's your elevator pitch. So that's why everybody must have the trial box. So you can prep with these questions. So you have the answer to all questions, both general questions, technical questions, scenario-based questions, using the STAR method to understand how to, to, to prep so that there's no question they will ever ask you in your lifetime that you don't know already. Because trial box is just going to be reading the questions to you and giving you the answer to it. Question, answer, question, answer, and you memorize everything. And it's not, it's just something that comes natural to you because, you know, those things. So everything here is from the trail box. So tell me about yourself. Always want to say thank you for having me. If you are meeting a one on one, you shake their hand, family. You look straight to their eyeball to eyeball. Don't look down. Look down on them, them straight eyeball to eyeball with a smile. Smile a lot. When you walk into the building, smile a lot and greet everybody that you meet. Don't be, don't, greet everybody that you meet, have a pen and a notepad ready, sit down majestically and sit up straight and talk to them with confidence. Let them see that confidence in you. Because at the end of the day, it's not about you, um, you may not do very, very well, but they may just like you. It's about being likable, okay? And it's about being ready to learn. So you'll be ready to learn and also ready to to um, to walk. So they will see that. They will see the vibes, that you are ready and you are, and you are passionate. Passion must be in it. So thank you for having me, you want to say. My name is Peace Johnson. It's nobody's name, you know. And, um, and a service credit analyst with five years of experience in GRC and you know, I'm just using third party risk management framework or whatever framework that is your choice. We can say RMF or you can say um, ISO, whatever. Whatever is in that you are interviewing for, you put that. And I've developed a strong foundation in assessing and mitigating security risk. 
assessing and mitigation security risk. That's one of the major things that every cyber security analyst will be helping to do. I'm skilled in conducting comprehensive cyber security assessments, implementing control framework, and ensuring regulatory compliance. Right? You can pick from this. It doesn't have to be everything. Whatever is going to be your selling point is what you're going to craft and prep. I'm highly analytical. I'm detail-oriented. These are your soft skills, and you want to mention that. I possess excellent communicational skills, allow me to effectively con convey complex security concepts to stakeholders. Because you'll be talking to stakeholders, you'll be talking to your customers, and all of that. I'm, I'm also very passionate about studying updates on the latest industry trends, you know, and I'm ready to, to support the team. So think like this, if you, if you prep like this, you're already opening the door. You're saying, I'm ready. I'm going to help the team. I'm going to, I'm detail-oriented. I'm analytical. I'm detail-oriented. I'm passionate. That's what they want to hear. Who doesn't want to hear that? Who is that? Which employer doesn't want to hear that you are ready to, to help? And you show with a smile. And that's one thing. Throughout my career, working for big tech company, I'm always smiling. I'm always relatable. I'm always ready to help. I have tons, tons of awards from the stakeholders, awards from my customers. Even some of the company I work for till today, the, 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 the president, the, my managers are still in touch with me everywhere. Everywhere. You must, you must show that. Okay? You must show that. Don't do as if I don't really care, just the interview. No, it's more than that. Okay? So that's one you have to know. Then they will ask you, what is your weakness? What is your weakness? You might say, I don't have a weakness, right? No. You must be able to say something. You can't say, nobody is perfect, you know? But you should be grateful that you have all this information now because when we were growing up in tech, we don't have a mentor. We have to, I mean, when you get to interview, nobody's mentoring us. And they ask, what's your weakness? What are you going to say? You know, I remember the first time I had this, Added, what's your weakness? I'm like, oh God, really? You know, I have to now say, well, I love to help people a lot. And, you know, I really always love to help people. I just kept saying that. <laughs> so I don't know what to say. Why would I say I'm weak now? You know, but the ways in which you do all these things. You guys are lucky. You have all these things. When we're breaking into tech, we were just breaking with like head on collusion, head on, head on collision, no mentor, nothing. But we did it. We did it and we did it nicely because of the passion. We don't, I told myself, I don't have a choice. I'm going to break to this thing. If it might take me, I don't care. Well, how long does it take me? I'm going to break to it. And I did, by God's grace. So you can do it nicely with, with all this information. Are you kidding me? You know? So what is your weakness? While I strive for perfection in my work, I sometimes tend to be very meticulous which can occasionally lead to spending more time on tax than necessary, right? However, I have actively worked on refining my time management skill, time management, and I've implemented strategies such as prioritizing my tasks, delegating when appropriate to ensure efficient and effective completion of assignments. Are you guys following me? If you are following me, give me give me a yes, yes, yes. A yes, 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 guys. Are you following me? Let me see if I'm on if I'm here with my people this morning. I'm not feeling your vibes, guys. Give me the vibes. <laughs> I'm not feeling the vibes. Let's see. Are you guys following me? Give me a yes, yes, yes. I'm not gonna move forward until we get the yes. <laughs> okay, they're following me. Michelle, Felicia say yes. Israel say yes. That's yummy. Absolutely. Very good. So it's making sense. Very good. Thank you. Yes. Doreen say yes. So. <laughs> and Nabibala say yes. Very good. So I'm making sense this morning. Very good. Because I'm prepping you for interview. Some of you, 
by this time next month you'll be making your six digit already and that's the plan and that's the plan you never know when this job just pop up from nowhere i'll be like oh really i just finished class yes you just finished class there are people they have grabbed in class six weeks class is eight weeks boy six weeks of blood already grabbed them and they was like prof i was just playing i just put my resume out there and I didn't even, I wasn't even planning to do anything. I didn't even know that I know anything yet. And when I opened my mouth in the interview, I was, they were amazed. And I got a job. I was like, you are still in class now? So yes, I'm still in class, but I already got a job. See, that's it. When you prep and get ahead, you can get ahead. You can get ahead. I remember when I was in, you know, working for some tech company, <laughs> yes, I received seven seven figure. Of course, you you will, right? I was in tech. The people, the next next dog lady that we're working together, she was only making eighty two. I was making one twenty, and I have to help her to make it one twenty at that time. I said, "This is how much I make." Even though we're not supposed to talk about it, I will help you, and I helped her. She moved from eighty two to one twenty. See, so that's what I'm saying. I've been doing this thing forever. If I'm happy now to see our prepper while we're even working together on the same level, but I'm ahead with prepping skills, you know, so it's a gift. So you guys can do well, very well. Okay. So thank you that you are following. So they can also ask you, they will ask, why are you leaving your current position? Even when I'm your reference, they come and ask me, when I, why is he or she leaving the current position? If you don't have the answers to these questions or you flunk it, that's a problem. So you want to tell them, it's not about knowing technical questions only, but also these questions. I'm seeking new opportunity to expand my skill sets. Take no more challenges projects, take more, uh, on take on more cyber challenge project in the realms of cyber security so that means you want to expand your skill set you want challenges who doesn't want challenges who doesn't everybody wants challenges so while i have gained valuable experience in my current role i believe that joining a new organization will allow me to further develop my expertise and contribute to the advancement of my cyber security practices or you can just say oh it was the end of the project that i was working on the project ended don't ever tell them they fire you or don't ever tell them that they let you go and that's why i always tell people you must have a good working relationship and don't burn your bridges don't burn your bridges at your job don't fight people be remain professional don't be too friendly that you're going to be so friendly to somebody that you start fighting like it's your sibling or it's your family. Be, be friendly, but not too familiar. I and mean, that's a better word. Don't be too familiar with people at the job. You are there for a job. You can be, but if you're going to be friendly with, befriend somebody, be really, really close to them. Let it take time to really understand that person, to know who they are so that you don't fall victim of rudeness or all those drama you don't need that work, workplace drama so you need to study people very well so you don't jump into being too close and too um too, too close to too, too in a short period of time so that will help you because some some people they they, they get into this situation and because they are too close as rancor there's problem they start fighting, they fire some people, you destroy your, 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 you know, you don't want to, your reference. So watch that, very important. What are your hobbies outside of work? What are your hobbies outside of work you must have? So when they ask you that, what are you going to say? Oh, I don't have any hobby, I just like to work. <laughs> you don't have a work-life balance if you do that. So outside of work, I enjoy studying uh, i'll enjoy staying up or up to date with latest cybersecurity trend and you like studying too technology through research and online courses or courses like conferences like with us at my university 
we always have programs like we meet we have meetings like four times a week that's just meeting that is not even for the student we have this one we're doing right now on wednesday at 11 a.m we have another one tonight 6 p.m we have every monday 6 p.m on clubhouse we have every friday 6 p.m on clubhouse all these are programs and this right now is view on youtube on facebook and on linkedin three places in one all these things are what you can say okay i'm always in conferences because sometimes we are 100 people on 120 200 people all missing to discuss so these things are what you can even use as that's all some of the things that, that you do right and not even include the community support on on every saturday we meet we, we do interview preps on my university platform sometimes we have like 100 people 50 people coming together to prep for interviews that's for cyber security on tuesdays at 7 p.m we have for scrum master and product owner this is another analysis they prep every tuesday 7 p.m on their own platform too on my in my university so all these things are ways what are the, these are some of the things that keep you busy you know, as outside of the work because we have engineers that have been working in tech for many years they come back and give back and meet other people and I'll, and also i also find relaxation in, phys, in physical activities such as hiking <laughs> playing team sport which help me maintain health with my work uh, work-life balance right so these are the things that you can say you do you mentor people you give back you know you love to help so they were like wow really you are a mentor that's great right and you also like you know keep fit and all of those relax so they would know that you have a good work-life balance right so they can also ask you very good thank you for that thumbs up <laughs> So what do you, where do you see yourself in five years? Oh, I don't, don't say that. I don't see myself anywhere. I'll still be working here in five years. Mm -hmm. I, I want to work with you for forever. I, <laughs> so you don't say that, right? So that's why you have to, to buy the trailer bus. You have all these answers. Uh, in five years, I envision myself as a service leader. 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 And when that's one of the things that I, it makes me proud. When I'm when I'm referencing my student that I that I broke into tech some years back now, and I see I put cybersecurity leader lead, I'm so joyful to see that to see that I've helped them grow from where they were with that no tech background, and now to that level that they have become managers, they have become leaders. Some of them will come back. And then they hire like two, three people from the new student. That's my job. I'm so happy to see that. They're not giving me that money, but I'm so happy to see them grow in their career to become hiring managers now. You remember, I've been I've been at my own tech company now for 18 years. And I've been mentoring for that long. And people now are grown. Some people have been in tech for 10 years, more than that. We have them all on our platform. 15. They are doing well. Someone come into that and said, oh, oh, so, so, and so gave me the name. Um, you know, they broke into tech. I said, yes, I remember that guy. Actually, there's six of them. They just went from college straight, and six of them broke into tech here. I said, yes, I know him, and I gave him their last name. He said, he said yeah, yeah, that's, that's the person. I said, yes. He said, I'm the one that sent him. Now I'm here. I want to do my, because I've been wasting my time all over the place, and I can't get a job. I said, yeah, you, you sent them all this while, like seven years ago. They've been working. All the guys are big guys now that I mentored from I straight from college. Now they are doing well. Like six friends. So I said, yes, I remember. Just this morning. So what am I saying? I'm gonna break into tech. Our, our platform is getting better every day. It's getting more sophisticated. It's getting more user friendly because we spend time and time and resources to make it very friendly. That. You can break into tech with your eyes closed, you know, even. Yeah, so that's very good. So, okay, LinkedIn users, I just got there. Is that Pastor Andrew? I know you use LinkedIn user. And they ask if I if I see myself in five years. Uh, you just got here. Well, um, yeah, they will ask you. They will always ask you that. 
they will always ask you that. Yes, Felicia is saying, is it appropriate to take no during interview? Yes, you can take note. You should. Even if it's on, on if it's even if it's um it is um you know online in you know you are joining remotely, you should take notes because they ask you, you should that note taking should not take you away from focusing and asking them questions, but you should at least take note shows your seriousness. You should take notes because there's something they want to ask you that you want to write down, you're writing things down, you're talking to them, like you're serious. They're asking you something, you're writing it down, you're talking to write some things down, you're talking to them. Right. So it's very good. <laughs> I know you're kidding, right? So why do you, you just see yourself in five years? In five years, I envision myself as a cyber security leader with uh, an ever deeper expertise in GRC and third party risk management. If it's third party that you want to do, if it's RMF that you want to do, if it's ISO, if it's IPA, whatever, you put it there, right? I aspire to take on more strategic roles, contributing to the development and implementation of robust cybersecurity strategy within organizations. I aim to continue mentoring and sharing my knowledge with fellows, professional in the field. You want to continue sharing. And that's why I said our platform, it gives you the opportunity. I'll give another example of a guy. He broke into tech here. And um, he broke into Scrum. That the, the guy broke into Scrum. And he, I told him, don't leave, continue to mentor so that you can stay on top of the game. And it was mentoring. Before you know it, this guy got another role. In three months, he, he got two jobs. One is a Scrum Master. And the second job was what? Pro, uh, product Manager, Vice President. Vice President of a product company. So it was a product company vice president. It was managing and, you know, the executive level. This is what can happen. <laughs> so I can go on and, and tell you more and more and more. But, you know, being in the network, you can't buy that. It's priceless. It's priceless. So if you are just sitting on the fence, going all over the place and taking resources, you need to come into the network. We have a class starting on June 7th. Our next cybersecurity class is starting on June 7th. It's a Wednesday evening class. Okay. So you, you should sign up for that. Okay. It includes mentoring, coaching, support. Okay. I'm going to help you achieve your goal. You can schedule a call with me. And the cybersecurity class has the GRC and Security Plus. Okay. So I'll strongly encourage you. Yeah, me. Welcome. How are you doing? GRC Security Plus. If you already have Security Plus, that's that's okay. But if you don't have it yet, I will encourage you to take it as well. So it's gonna be on June. I'm putting it down here, June seventh and eighth. It's weekdays evening, seven p.m. to nine p.m. Eastern time. Because some people, if I don't say, it, they won't know. They suppose me you didn't say it. You didn't tell us. We didn't know that there's a new class starting. Okay, I'm telling you now. <laughs> so we have that. We have a Scrum class starting too. So you are, you are, you can reach out. So it's on Wednesday night. So I'm posting it here. So everybody can see it. That's a new class that we are starting. Okay? So make sure you enroll. And how do you enroll? You schedule a call with me, my ituniversity.com, so that I can talk to you. I can guide you. These are the upcoming classes. Don't know where the, the year has reached the middle, middle of the year. Don't waste away. Try and do something. You've already said you will do something this year, but you have not done anything with it. Now is the time to try so that you can still prep. People will still break into tech this year. A lot of people. They will still get their six figure jobs. Some people will get to bring, you know, spend their time with their family. For, for tens given with, with new things that they want in their life. Some people, Christmas time, they have all the money that they want because they now have the tech money. The same thing. So you must take advantage of the opportunities. And we have a $500 off coupon for the class. So ask for that coupon. If you do the combo price, $500 off. And you have like up to 
seven framework that you're going to be learning for the price of one. Okay? So if they ask you, you know, all those things, you'll be able to say, okay, this is what I want to do for, you know, the five years, see or seven, five years, right? They will also definitely ask, what is your strength? Even because me, they even ask me, what is your strength? Strength of my, my, my mentees, strength of my students, strength of people that work with me. They ask me, what do you think is their strength? So that we have to say your strength, I have to say your weakness, I have to say where you are living, and we have to say if I'm going to rehire you. Whatever I say is going to kill you or make you to those hiring managers because they will always call me and ask about you. Right. So what is your strength? So they will ask you, and then you have to tell them, my main strength lies in conducting thorough risk assessment develop comprehensive co control framework like all of our controls and effective communicating complex cybersecurity concepts to shareholders to stakeholders at all levels you know you have to communicate with customers stakeholders colleagues your team that you are in so comprehensive control uh, frameworks developing it and effectively communicating so effective communication is a great skill complex service concept to stakeholders at all levels remember that and also i possess strong problem solving ability you will be solving problem for customer attention to details and proactive approach to identify and mitigating uh, Potential risk. Mitigating potential risk. Is this helpful, guys? Is this helpful? Is this helpful? Talk to me. Is this helpful, my people? Yes, 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 yes. Let's see if we are here. We have a lot of us here. Are we following me? <laughs> are we following me, guys? Everybody in the building, yes, yes, thank you. Abimbola, we are falling very helpful. Thank you. Oh, yeah, very good. I'm glad that you are here following me and it's helpful. Very good. Thank you very much. Yeah, because it's my joy to see you also, sex, your success coming out, you for coming out in flying colors. That's what I want, and that's what why I'm doing this. So what, what are your hobbies? Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Okay. Outside of work, I enjoy staying up to date with latest trends, to learn service currency trend and technology through research and online courses. And I also find relax, relaxation in physical exercises and all of those sports and all of that. You know, I can uh, LT work-life balance and stuff. Also, they can ask you, why should I choose you for this job? Why are you the best person for this job? Why? Don't be looking at them like, oh, I don't know. Don't tell them, oh, I don't know. No, you should know. Yeah. So Israel was asking, is there any interview question on project for or, or project you worked on? Yeah, those ones, we prep you on those ones in our mentoring platform. I can't bring that here because people that are here, some of them are not my student. I can't, I can't bring a project out here. If you're, you're my student, when you do your interview preps, then that's what when you prep with that in-house. That's an in-house prep. So you have to be our student to prep with our projects. You know, we have hands-on projects in classes and we prep with that in in-house. Yeah. So if you are my university student and you are still in class, you don't know about that yet. But when you finish and you start doing your hands-on project, then you'll be able to also prep in-house with that. And you also use the mentoring platform to prep you for projects as well. Yeah, so we do that in-house. Very good. So that's why you don't just come in and just listen. You come in. You, so when you come in to my university, it's when you get all the gist and all that you need to really make good money and do well. 
Yeah. So why should we choose you for this job? Why? So with my solid foundation in GRC and third party risk management framework, along with five years of experience in the field, I bring a comprehensive understanding of cybersecurity uh, risk and regulatory regulatory compliance requirement. I have a proven track record of successfully implementing and maintaining risk management program, conducting assessments, and ensuring adherence to industry best practices. My strong analytical skill, attention to details, and ability to communicate complex concepts effectively make me a valuable asset to any cybersecurity team. See? So you don't have to see all this. You can just pick some and make your own. Make your own. And that's the beauty of this, of the trial box, because it has all these things. You just sit down and listen to all of all sorts of things on there. Yeah, so that's all I have for you. I hope you have learned something for today. Um I hope you have learned something for today. Don't forget to schedule a discovery call with me. Okay, and reach out. Reach out so that you can get your $500 off coupon. Remember, with CyberScript, we have so many frameworks. These are some of the frameworks that we are cover. For the price of one, we cover so many frameworks and we mentor you into them. Hmm? We mentor you into them. And we have other training stack. We have, in addition to CyberScript, we have the agile project management stack like Scrum Master, Product Owner, Software Tester QA, Business Analysis. We have the Cloud, we have Data Analysis, Tableau Power BI also in the stack as well okay but if you don't have noisy background i prefer you to start with either the scrum stack or you do the cyber security okay so when i tell you breaking into tech industry without prior experience it can be challenging but it's not impossible i will make it possible for you they are stepping forward for the success and we have you know, I lighted these steps and guided you into what it entails to break it into these rules. So don't think that you can't do it. You can do it very well. Connect with me on LinkedIn. This is my LinkedIn profile. Okay. Also follow us on all social media platforms. This is our link, myitunversity.com on all social media platform. Okay. And, um, you know, reach out. You know, don't delay. Join us. Don't procrastinate. Okay. Very good. Yeah, LinkedIn user says, yes, yes, you should reach out. I have enrolled myself in both Security Plus and GRC. GRC and Security Plus. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Doreen. Doreen, how are you enjoy your trial box? Give us a testimonial here live so that they can hear people that have the trial box. Can you share with us, Doreen? How are you enjoy your trial box? Your trial box? How is the trial boss doing for you? How is it helping you as you are prepping? You can still be in class and already have a trial box. It doesn't matter. Okay? You can still be in class and already have a trial box. Dory is in class, but she already has a trial box. Ken was in class, got a trial box, even before he started the class. Yes. Okay, LinkedIn user said, LinkedIn user, you are, you are undercover today. I don't even know who you are, but you are giving a lot of gems. Uh, LinkedIn user said, there's a lot of communi communi opportunities in the cybersecurity industry as of today. And there's almost 1 million positions in the U.S. Wow. Can you see, guys? LinkedIn user, who are you, LinkedIn user? <laughs> yeah, Doreen said, this. the trail bus is amazing. I'm telling you. It's on sale now till... And I'm gonna I'm gonna shut it off after after now because it's hundred dollars off. Um, yeah, plant uh, it was for Mother's Day. It goes back to its regular price, but if you can grab it while it's still available, then it's your luck. But if it's gone, it's gone. Okay, okay. Danny said. Um. It's, it really put together what you are teaching us and give us confidence in answering the question. Thank you. 
Thank you. I'm glad you said that. So guys, get your treasure box. And um, Nick, did you say it's me, Prof? It's me, Prof. What is it? It's me, Prof. Oh, you didn't say your name. I can I know you. It's me. <laughs> I'm on your Saturday class. What's your name? That's what I'm saying. Okay, she said try add books is great. I don't know. I don't know your name, mister. I'm Michelle. Thank you, Prof. This will help me for interview tomorrow. Hey, Michelle, I have an interview tomorrow already. They just finished class, literally. Yeah, Michelle. Very good, Michelle. I can't wait. A lot of you are already interviewing, so I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> Alice said, clicking you, who are you? You are you. You are you. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> these people are funny i like this i say ali me not me who is you who are you <laughs> and <laughs> these people these people are george george why are you doing this to me i know <laughs> george george is a troublemaker george is george george you are the one causing trouble here <laughs> i will have guess is you george says george okay george george my george <laughs> welcome I will I guess is you pulling pulling legs there. George is George is one of my upcoming engineers. <laughs> George. Okay, so uh if you could say it, I'm using the trailer box as well, and it's worth more than the price. Thank you. I'm telling you. This good thing, the, the good thing is that you can always revisit the lectures to build strength and knowledge. Wow, Ibuku. Thank you so much for that. So people can know how this thing works because sometimes these people are so busy and they don't even have time. I make it, Michelle, uh, Michelle said, and TikTok seems moving for the second round of interview. Thank you, Prof. Wow. So you, you did some TikTok interview. I'm telling you, this we just finished classes, guys. Michelle, second round of interview with TikTok, guys. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and he's not the only one in that program in the class. All of them are interviewing like that, like that. I'm so glad. I can't wait to see you working with, with TikTok, Michelle. And without no IT background before, you will see. So, guys, we are not playing here. We are serious. Thank you, George, and thank you also, uh, Abimbala. So, guys, get your trailer box. Get your trailer box. You can never go wrong with it. It's here. It's on sale, hundred dollars off. It's just three ninety nine. Something that you're gonna have for a lifetime. When the price is gonna go up, I'm I'm just trying to. It's a lot of stuff in that thing that can even cost a thousand dollars. Seriously. So Samuel Dako, yeah, call me Samuel. We have a class starting, like I said. So you guys can still be part of that class. Okay, that's the next class that we're starting. Okay, so see that's the information for the class this one so it's gonna be june 7th and 8th 7 p.m and 9 p.m eastern time so join that class weekend evening it's weekday evening weekday wednesdays and thursday evening 7 p.m to 9 p.m so don't forget we have a 500 dollars off coupon for the combo price so reach out so you, you can be like michelle that's already Intervene. That's already interviewing. Yeah, that's already interviewing. Yeah, my number is this. Let me show you. Um, this is my number. It's two four zero three five zero six one five nine. Text me. Okay, text me. I always put my number out there and schedule a call with me if you want to break into tech you can also schedule a call out talk to you guide you i spend 30 minutes with almost everybody that is in any of my programs and give them guidance and support it's very important so thank you so much for being here guys and have a lovely evening see you in the evening on clubhouse love you all good night and see you next week god bless you Bye-bye.